Hi guys, Rusty Dog here. Um, have a little unboxing video. Um, so, no surprises that it says Fanatec on it. And keen viewers of my sim racing streams, of which I know there are very few, uh, may already know what's in this box. It's not new, it's second hand. But I had to do it. Now, the fact that I was able to even get this um, is down to my community. Simple as that. So I have you guys to thank for your support on Patreon, channel memberships, your continued support and your loyalty uh, is humbling to me. It's amazing. It is truly, truly amazing, and I thank you, each one of you, uh, and all those that have donated and contributed on, on my channel recently, um, in fact, <laughs> recently and further back. Thank you, thank you so much for everything. Without you guys, I can't have these luxuries in my life. Um, so, at least not at the moment. Uh, so thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. You are amazing. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I went and picked these up today. It was uh, about a fifty-minute drive each way. Uh, so that was that was something, but it was a nice day, and so that was okay. Uh, so like I say, these are second hand, but judging by the label on the on the front here, uh, it doesn't match the name of the person I got it off. So I'm assuming these are maybe third hand. I don't know. As long as they work, I don't care. Let's open the box. Oh, I so need these. I really need these. Yeah. Yes, baby. Club Sport Pedals version 3. Finally in my grasp. Now at the moment, it's got the brake performance kit on it. And at the moment, it's set to a, quite a hard pedal. I tried pressing it down with my hand and uh, yeah, there was virtually no movement on it. So because I'm sat on a chair with wheels... That's going to be too stiff. Uh, the you can change it with uh, with I don't know what you call it. they're called springs, but they're kind of like a hard foam, and there's also an adjuster on there. Uh, but I'm going to show you how these pedals differ from the V ones here. The V ones these are these are these are finished. These are screwed. Oh, this the wiring uh, the potentiometer. This is what's broken. It doesn't work. The wiring is knackered and it's just causing the pedal to be screwed. So I'm having to use these cheapy, cheapy pedals. These are the cheapest pedals that Fanatec do. Um, but these, yeah. Let, let, okay, I'm, I can't use the phone and do this. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to get these out of the box. Okay, here we go. So... As Fanatec like to do, they like to write things on the box. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Yeah. All right, we'll get to that in a sec. So this is what they look like. Uh, they look similar to the V1s, but they're black, which I, I like. The V1s, my old V1s, look at the, the wear on the... On the throttle and also here where the ball of the foot goes um, but yeah look at my pedal right with my hand I can I, there's trouble on the v3s there isn't any as I said it's adjustable um, and I've got the potentiometer here which should adjust the sensitivity but it doesn't do anything anymore that doesn't work the clutch pedal is just a linear thing uh, 
just on a spring there, it's just linear. You'll see the difference on the V3s. This underneath, you can't see it from here, but it has a, a rotating... Oh, maybe you can. Yeah, here. This thing. What this does is it rotates and it... Oh, no, it doesn't rotate, but it vibrates. It vibrates. There's a, ro oh, there's a rotating thing here, look. That rotates around and provides a vibration which simulates the ABS. Um, on the V3s, we have one of those on here, on the throttle, which I don't know, but I'm assuming that's going to make the throttle vibrate when we're driving over curbs. That's going to be interesting. I've had these now for about 15 years, so they've done their life. Everything works fine, except for the brakes. Uh, it's the wiring, guys. I, I just need somebody who can solder a new bunch of wires in and fit a, a potentiometer to equal that one. And these will work again. So I'm not going to throw them away, but they're all but useless to me at the moment. So let's just put those there. I've still got my other fanatic stuff still there, look. There's no room in this room. All right, so in the box we have USB cable, which we can plug it in via USB, like how that does it. But also these pedals can be plugged in directly into my direct drive base. So these can go straight into the, the base there. They can go straight in, uh, which is brilliant. Direct connection, lovely. Then we have th these got these came extra. Uh, so we've got the V3 brake performance kit. So you've got hard. These are very very hard to press. You've got soft or mediums, and then you've got the softest ones. And you can mix and match. You can put two red ones, which will be the hardest. Two greens, which will be a more medium feel. This will be the softer, more default ones. And then you've got, you can do green and red together, which will give you, you know, a medium to hard feel, that kind of thing. So we've got those. We've also got replacement springs for the clutch and throttle. There we go. So uh, I think the black ones are the default uh, ones off the off the club sports. These are the default ones, you know, fairly softish. And then the red one, if I can find it, is also a default one, which I think comes off the does it come off the brake. I don't know if there is one on the brake. I'll have to have a look at some original photos. But then you've got these big yellow ones here, which. Yeah, they go down quite easily for a while and then they suddenly just stop compressing. Where the black ones are about the same, they're, but they're different strengths, right? So I've got those two. So I may have to change how this guy has got it configured. Certainly the brake pedal stiffness will have to be softened because I don't think I'm going to be able to press the brake pedal because he had a sim rig which he's sitting in and the chair can't go backwards where mine can so I can't have that same strength now he mentioned it was set to 45 I don't know whether that's kilos or newton meters of pressure but that's too much that my chair will be going backwards so I need to set it down to around 25 or something like that so why don't we get the bag out I think that's all that's in the box. Okay, so there's other stuff under here, inside here. Some heavy metal bits and pieces, I don't know what. And then we have the quick guide here. Ah, oh, we can see there, there you go. Uh, so the red, red springs are the default, so it must still have a red spring on it somewhere. And then you have this adjuster which you can turn and it's it changes the amount of uh, preload um, but yeah look you can you can attach to USB or to wheelbase um, you can even you can even get a club sport handbrake which will go plug directly in as well 
So these are the original pedal uh, pedals, the bases, and then you can attach these as well, which is what we have on ours. All right, let's get them out then, guys. I'm excited. I'm going to pause. Okay, here we are. So you can see if we drag these, there's the V3s, there's the V1s. Yeah, version 1, version 3. But the difference is quite a bit. You can still get bits for this. Uh, where for this, Fanatec don't do bits for this one anymore. We've got a nice Fanatec F on the brake pedal, which is nice. And paint wearing off there. So, I don't know, maybe I can spray paint that or something. Anyway, let's just separate. So, let's take a look at the differences in the throttle. So, throttle we have just this standard spring, and as you can see, it's quite linear. So, nothing different there. Just this is my just standard a set of course <laughs> or whatever sim you've seen me playing. Standard uh, linear amount of travel. Uh, on these, we have uh, a custom spring, it's not the original red one. Um, and as you can see, we have a little vibratory thing on this one. Yeah, so we've got a vibration thing on this, which I'll be interested to see in action. And then we have the um, position sensor. So as, as this dips, the angle changes and it sends the instruction of the angle change to the software, to the game, and we get acceleration. You see it's got the load cell here as well in the brake pedal. Now the brake pedal here, we have the load cell here and then again we've got the ABS vibration and the brake pedal is very nice and progressive and the, the more you push in the harder it gets just like reality. This one That's as far as I can push it. I'm going to try from this angle. No, I. that's as far as I can go. It's so hard. So, look at this though. So the way we can change this is we knock out this, this bar here, which is the same as the one I have here. We just knock out the bar with an Allen key or something. Just push it and it'll just, it'll just slide out. And then this whole, this whole bit will come away and then we can rotate this up or down for, you know, how much damping and pressure we want, I guess. And then inside here is those colored foamy, they're called springs, but you know, these. Generally two of them in there. So you can mix and match uh, Like this Oh, Trust there to be light Yeah, so you can you can do it like that so you can go Red like if I look here this one You can put a diameter 12 green and a diameter 12 uh, 13 red and the pedal will be soft but then you've got very hard if you go green green you you know and then you've got soft if you just go red green but there's different reds as well so maybe a smaller diameter red versus well that's it what's this one? Oh, okay so that's a, a, thir a larger 13 diameter green and a 12 diameter red gives you the softest one. So you've got a 12 diameter red and a 13 diameter green. Uh, these I believe are the originals that come with the pedal. 
they look a bit smaller don't they i wonder if they've been cut down and i know that the guy who i bought it from has cut this up into two pieces i think he was advised or something for that but uh, yeah i think i think that's been cut in half so it would still work you could still use this which is a lot oh that's actually quite soft use that one and these two and you got back to standard standard pedals but these ones oh my god there's nothing on that but i've got these for my not this particular set but i do have red and black ones off ebay for my pedals and they are in in my brake pedal at the moment so yeah i think i might go for surely a 12 green and a 13 green is going to be well no because it says here a 13 green and a 12 green is hard how does that work and then we've got lithium grease and whatever that is i don't know what this is sorry for my camera work i'm not sure what this is but i'm sure it'll be in the instructions here yeah lithium grease as well okay so that's the brake pedal very very different and now the clutch pedal you see on mine it's just like the throttle pedal it's linear comes to a very like it does have a different feel this is the softest pedal you can see if i just push with a couple of fingers and if i do the same on here it doesn't go all the way down i'd have to push even harder so it gives you that gear change kind of push all the way down this however well this is very different look look at this mechanism so when you push the clutch down here look it does this so it's like it moves and then it goes uh, and back it's almost like it uh, like it, you know it progresses and then it's easy and that's very much more naturally feeling to an, an actual that feels more like an actual clutch in a car to me uh, but I don't really use the clutch a lot, but that's an interesting thing. And I believe that is the original spring. But you can change all these springs, so you can change that, change that, and change the pads in here. The pads in here are going to have to be changed, because i got no movement on this pedal at all. There's no way I'm going to be able to press that brake down on my chair. No way. No way. So... There you go. Even the bolts in in here are red. Wow. So there you go. The V3s. Oh, and you can go on eBay and get, you know, the brake pedal performance kit for them. And there's also a, a hydraulic damper, which you can get, which goes on here. And it fits into here. And it's an actual hydraulic damper, which is I think is just going to make... I don't know if it's going to help, because it's just going to make the... It's just going to make the, the, the throttle pedal even harder. It's going to make it feel dampened though. But I think this is... Because the throttle pedal in my real car is like this. It's 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 from the base. It's pivoted at the base. It, it doesn't hang down like a lot of cars. This is like the... My, my throttle pedal is like this. So my in my car, my real one, the clutch and the brake hang from above. But the throttle pedal is like this hinged at the bottom and to me this feels very much like what i would expect in my in in the car in the real car so these are going to have a very much better feel i'm just got fingers crossed that i can adjust this the softness of this brake pedal to my liking uh, so it's nice and soft uh, but I still, you know, it has a load cell as well, which makes things progressively harder as you press. But I, I want the actual travel to be a lot easier. But as you can see, these are a lot better built than these. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So, again, I have these because of you guys. Thank you so much for enabling me to have this um 
I think these were shipped like seven years ago, 2017. Uh, but because you can still buy bits for them, you know, it's all right. You can keep them. You can keep them going. You know, springs are changeable. The I don't know what's in here. If there's anything in here, like this. But this this clutch. Oh, I like that. You see, it's difficult to explain. It it's the push down is a certain pressure which feels like it's getting a little harder, little harder, little harder, and then oh, easy again. You know, harder, 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 easy. It's like a you know, like this is going if it was a noise it would be constant all the way down, linear. This one is you see? And it feels very clutchy. <laughs> yeah, it's clutchy. But again, oh, nothing, 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 nothing. No brake travel. It's got about the amount of brake travel that a Formula One car has. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to get them set up. First thing I'm going to do is put these on my desk. I'm going to t dismantle this and... Uh, work out uh, a brake setting that's going to suit me and that's it and once I get it set up I'm going to do a sim racing stream um, yes I'm happy I've wanted these for a long time I'm going to give them a bit of a, a clean as well they're a bit dusty I'm happy but I'm going to be all the way happy all the way content the moment I have this brake pedal set up the way I want it um, you can customize it in so many ways you know to get it to the strength you want once I have that color me happy baby yeah and then at some point I'll find somebody who's good with a soldering iron and I'll find out the the value of this potentiometer, not in money, but, you know, the amount of ohms or whatever it is, volts, resistance, amps, whatever the hell it is, I don't know. And maybe we can get another one of those from somewhere uh, and, and just cable something new in and make it all work again. Guys, I am done. Uh, you find me very appreciative and very humble that I am able to even acquire such things like this and the DD wheelbase you know I'm I'm very lucky I'm very lucky and I thank you until then have a good one bye bye